I'm Sherry Boshert reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the annual meeting of the Endocrine Society in Houston. Dr. Paloma Almeida Valdez reports that off-label use of citagliptin reduced symptoms of reactive hypoglycemia in a trial of 28 patients. We did this study because um, we have seen some patients with this condition that is called reactive hypoglycemia and currently there is not a standard treatment for them. These are patients that sometimes have a very uh, symptomatic situation characterized by very low uh, blood sugar levels associated with the ingestion of food rich in carbohydrates. So we, we try to um, prove that they might improve with citagliptin. Citagliptin right now is uh, approved for treatment of type 2 diabetes and uh, not for reactive hypoglycemia. It was a randomized study. We include 20, um, 15 patients in the placebo and 13 in the citagliptin group, so 28 patients in total. We did a baseline mixed meal test, which was rich in carbohydrates to reproduce two things. So we asked the patients to fill a questionnaire of symptoms related to hypoglycemia, and also we measure insulin and glucose levels over five hours. And then we randomized the patients to receive placebo or citagliptin for two weeks. And then we did the questionnaire again after the treatment and also the mixed meal test. And we found that uh, with citagliptin, the glucose levels were higher in the, in the late phase of the test. So they had less hypoglycemia and this was associated with a higher insulin level in the first phase of the curve. So the um, hypothesis is that, that citagliptin restore insulin secretion in these patients and this was associated with a higher glucose level in the late, the late phase of the study. And all the patients, um, this was also associated with a less symptomatic um, after the treatment. So they um, make the score of the symptoms from zero to 10 and all the symptoms improve after the treatment. This is only a preliminary study. We cannot recommend by now the use of citagliptin for treatment of these patients. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.